I'm Professor David Molyneux from the School of Tropical Medicine Centre for Neglected Tropical Diseases in Liverpool. I've been involved with neglected tropical diseases for most of my professional career and I've since retired but I'm a senior professorial fellow uh, working for the uh, department uh, for advocacy purposes and policy purposes. I really admire the development of a new NGO in this field, Developing World Health. It, for me it expands the, the community of interested partners bringing expertise and potential resources to the field of uh, neglected tropical diseases and building on the history of uh, Scotland's involvement in these diseases from a very early stage. Uh, we have to pay credit to the great pioneers from Scotland who discovered filariasis, sleeping sickness, leishmaniasis, all of whom had Scottish uh, backgrounds and ancestry and laid the fundamentals of our understanding of these diseases uh, over a hundred years ago. So it's great to see uh, a resurrection of interest uh, in these diseases because I think we now have the opportunity of actually solving the problems that were first unearthed by Scottish parasitologists so many years back. Uh, the, the real opportunities that lie in this field are the availability of drugs uh, and there are opportunities now of bringing countries on board to deploy the use of these donated drugs in many different settings. What is of particular interest, of course, is the relationship between the neglected tropical diseases and some of the more prominent diseases on the policy agenda, and particularly HIV, malaria and TB. And I think the, the two groups of communities can learn very much from each other, but I'm particularly fascinated in the, the link between HIV and uh, schistosomiasis, for example, where in urogenital schistosomiasis, the early lesions which uh, girls can acquire before sexual maturity could e so easily be cured by annual doses of the now donated drug praziquantil. Uh, and if we prevent those lesions developing in adolescent girls, during their first sexual encounters, they will not be exposed to the higher risks of HIV, which they are in so many communities in Central Africa. And it seems to me unacceptable that these girls are exposed to such high risk, a four times higher risk uh, when they have schistosomiasis uh, of exposure to HIV and acquisition of HIV than they would otherwise have if they were simply treated once a year during their adolescent uh, days with a drug which is not only going to stop them getting serious genital lesions but it will also improve their anemia status, it will pre prevent the progression of long-term pathology irrespective of the relationship with HIV. So I think this is a real platform on which developing world health can build, particularly with the, the links between uh, Scotland and uh, countries like Malawi where there's been this historic association. And I think that's a really important platform and a really important focus that developing world health will, uh, will pursue over the, the coming years.